All right, it's Jake Mace with Phoenix Longevity Arts. You've gotten to the white belt training, and this is gonna be our sparring techniques that are individual combinations that work very well in sparring. There's 10 of them, and let's start with them right now. You have to get up with me and memorize these. You'll be able to do them on your own without me, okay? So first off, what I teach is that we're a human being. My name is Jake Mace, and I am just a normal human, fallible. You know, I have, I'm a mortal, but then once I do the bow, all that changes and I am focused and immortal through my Kung Fu techniques, okay? So from here, my good sparring stance, I'm focused and my number one technique is gonna be a straight punch, just straight in, like a jab. We're gonna twist my hip and rotate my body to hit with vertical fist, horizontal or reverse, whatever one you want. So my hands are up, good stance, my legs are bent, my elbows are in, my hands are up and I just hit as fast and as hard as I can into the target. So again, sinking, sinking. So we're trying to work on that timing. So in sparring, when we see the opening happen, bam, really quick. So number one is a simple reverse vertical or horizontal punch, like a jab. Number two technique's gonna be from here, I'm gonna take this hand and block it down, out this way, working on cutting somebody. When I cut the person in this way, I'm gonna do a one, two, three combination one, two, three, with all my hands. So one, block and cut, three hit combination, then my hands stay up, and I'm going to do front kick into somebody's face. Let's try it again. From our sparring stance, cut low, three punch combination, one, two, three, and then kicking into the face. When we do this, we never do it like I just did. It's always gonna be intense, fast, explosive, and real. From here, cutting low, three punches, kicking in, into the target. Again, from here, good solid stance. I'm gonna block and cut down, three punches, kicking in, snapping kick. That's number two technique. Number three is going to be to take my weight, retreat back and cover myself up, and then take my lead leg and boom, snap kick into somebody's face, simple snap kick to the jaw or to the groin. When I teach white belts, I tell them only try to do a snap kick to two areas of the body, the groin or the chin, okay? Again, from here, I take my hands and block my face. My stance retreats back to what we call a cat stance. Then my lead leg is going to snap into somebody's neck, chin, or groin, okay? Really just the chin, the groin. From here again, draw back, boom, snap kick in. Let's turn to the side one time. From here, I retreat back into my cat stance, cover my face up, and then snap kick boom, right to the face. Again, retreat back, guard. This knee coming up kind of helps protect my groin a bit, and this, these arms protect my head against uh, punches, and then kick into the groin or the chin. Again, come back, boom, snap kick. So very fast, very hard, and that is technique number three. The fourth technique is going to be in our same stance. Every technique for these first 10 is from this stance or whatever fighting stance that you've learned or adopted or you like. In this position, I'm going to keep my hands up. I'm going to hop in and sweep my opponent's leg and then I'm going to roll in boom, and back fist to the head. Again, my good stance, hop in, boom, sweep their leg and then this front hand rolls in boom, and back fist to the head. So it's a front sweep, back fist combination. From here, hop in, sweep the leg, roll in, boom, back fist to the head. Number five technique is from here, and it's a jumping side kick. I wanna work on balance and the foot being parallel to the ground. Go to our white belt kicking video to see what I'm talking about. So for the technique, for the shadow boxing technique, I'm gonna hop in and side kick and try to have balance, control, and you see my leg was held out for a brief second. I want you to do the same thing. Try your best to at least. So again, from here, good sparring stance, hopping out, side kick. Okay, again, in the sparring techniques, we wanna kick as high as we can and accentuate the moves because this is our conditioning. In the fight, you only need to go for the solar plexus or for the groin. You don't need to go that high. But in the conditioning, in the set, we wanna kick really high. So again, number five, good sparring stance, hopping in, side kick, that's it. 
Number six, the sixth technique is our hook kick. I want to create a big circle and flick my heel to my butt. So I'm gonna hop in, circle my leg, and the heel hits me in the butt. And that heel flipping, uh, uh, flicking back is getting me used to hitting somebody behind the head and trying to create the knockout. The hook kick's one of the best kicks for knockout because it can get around your opponent's defenses and nail them in the back of the head, okay? So again, from here, my hands are up. I'm gonna hop forward, make a big circle, and flick my heel back to my butt, okay? Again, toward you guys, hopping in, flick the heel back. And then going really high this way, hopping in, Flicking it back, again, from the sparring stance, and back. Good balance, good control, good flick, speed, power, the whole package, that's number six. Number seven is also kicking, it's double kick. We have our hands in good position. We wanna um, feel light in the body, and the back foot goes first. It's gonna be groin, then chin. One, two. Again, from our good stance, groin and chin. Your stomach is tight. I once um, displaced my rib, and I had a really hard time doing kicks like this. And that was the first time, it was a couple of years ago, it was the first time it actually showed me how much the stomach plays a role in the double kicks. You wanna really tighten up your abs. This is great for stomach and core strength. So again, from our sparring stance position, double kick, back leg first, front leg second, groin with this one, chin with this one. Again, watch out fast. Getting set, getting set. Again, not leaving the ground too much. The double kick, that's number seven. For number eight, what I want you to do is I want you to hop in and back sweep your opponent with the heel leading, see what I just did? Then I want you to plant this foot and spinning hook kick around and come back to your original position. Okay, so again, from here, hop in, back sweep your opponent or your target, then spinning hook kick all the way around and return back to your original position. You gotta get used to spinning in place. Most beginners try spinning hook kick and they fall forward, and then when they try to spar, they can never land it because their opponent uses that weight against them. We have to spin in place. It has to be extremely fast, okay? So again, from here, good sparring stance, hands are up, knees are bent, hop in, back sweep, take their rooting away from them, and then spinning hook kick all the way around and back to our original position. Okay, one more time towards you guys. We're gonna go back sweep, hit, spinning hook kick, and back to original position. That's number eight. So for the ninth technique, what I want you guys to practice is the rear leg is gonna go inside smash and spin you around. Then my other leg is gonna go side kick and back to my original position. Again, from here, inside smash and spin all the way around. Lift this leg, side kick, and back to original position. From the side, my hands are up. I'm gonna go inside kick, smash around. Side kick this way, then a little bit faster, more fluid. We're gonna go inside kick, side kick, and back to original position. And only one technique left. And number 10, what I wanna focus on is my rear hand, my bottom hand, my, in this case, my left one, is gonna cover and move in on somebody, and this front hand is gonna chop into somebody's neck. So again, from here, I'm gonna cover and move in. This rear hand, or this front hand, is gonna chop into their neck or the temple. We're gonna go to your neck or to your temple, okay? Again, from here, we're gonna cover and move in. Cover, chop. Cover, chop, cover, chop, okay? From the side, hands are up, cover, foom, chop. Again, good stance position, cover, foom, chop. Draw up and bow, and now your focus is done and you're back to human form, ready to practice our next set. Hey, go to our YouTube channel. In the channel search box, type in white belt, or white sash, and it's gonna pull up all the white belt material you need for testing in our system of kung fu. This is Jake Mace from Phoenix Longevity Arts. There's no substitute for consistent practice. Train hard, my friends, I'll see you next time.